Well, I'm making another video for people. As you can see, I'm working on a DD-15. We're going to be cleaning the Delta port. And what the Delta port is, is this device right here. All we're going to do is take this, pull that over, shove, pull, pinch, and pull. Come on, there you go. We're going to get that off. Bolts are 10 millimeter. Now, while I'm doing this, the reason we're doing this Delta port is the uh, truck is really sluggish, it idles kind of funky, a few other things, all that good stuff. And the reason it does that is because it's just like in your car. This is, has to do with your fuel mixture. And what it does is it monitors the amount of soot coming through your EGR system. Ignore the sounds in the background. I'm also doing a, a system check on a few things. But see how dirty that is? It's black and gnarly looking. Now these ports get plugged up. And the best way to clean them is this, this right here. It's called pipe cleaner. You can actually buy them at Walmart, dirt cheap, or any old store. You can shove it down in there and work it in and out for a minute. Now watch this. Hey look, see how much soot's piled up there? <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Check the other side. Right there, plugged right up. Right there, she's plugged right up. I got a chisel through it. There it goes. See, look at that. Pulled big chunks and everything out of there. But yeah, this by doing this, you're getting proper flow through your delta pressure sensor. And it will allow the fuel to be mixed more evenly and properly. That's better. That'll do it. There you go. Now we just put it all back together. Doesn't take a lot of stuff here. But, uh, symptoms of this are sluggish takeoff, idling, idle fluctuation, a few other things. And the only thing I would recommend myself when putting this back in is just keep even pressure, hook it all back up, should be good to go. I do this to my truck that I use as a loaner truck every time I service it. And all the drivers keep wanting to take it out because, of course, that truck feels like it's got more torque. That's why. Anyways, hope that helps.